Hi, my name is Laura. I'm a reseller for Etsy, eBay, Poshmark, and Depop, uh, focusing primarily on vintage clothing and other vintage items, but I do do some modern things as well. I'm gonna do a little haul video for you. Hopefully a little haul, not excessively long like I've been recording. I'm going to go over some stuff that I got at an estate sale and also at a 50% off sale at my local thrift. So, let's see. First, my estate sale. I went to this estate sale on Saturday. Um, I had missed the first day of it, which pissed me off because the stuff there on their advertisement was amazing looking, but it was pretty much all there on Saturday when I went. It also was more money than I wanted to spend. So I spent a total of $80 on the things that I'm going to show you. And uh, I have like a cat hair or something here. All right. These two things were, there's two of these, they were $15 each. So they took up $30 of my $80 total. Also, they're not gonna be profitable, but we'll get into that now. So these, everything at this estate sale was like 50s, 60s kind of stuff, mostly toys, a lot of jewelry, very minimal clothing, and I did not get any of the clothing items. Um, Beatles. Beatles Yellow Submarine Pop-Out Art Decoration Books. These are cardboard cutout figures, and you pop them out and stand them up and whatever. Really awesome. Uh, decoration. These books are in amazing condition. I totally thought these would be worth a lot of money. I also knew that my boyfriend would like them, so I wasn't super concerned, but I would not normally have spent 15 bucks on these. Um, I just, I really thought they would do well. Sadly, on eBay, somebody recently sold about 20 of them for, I think, 20 shipped or 20 plus shipping I can't remember but a low dollar amount in my opinion um so there's a ton of solds that are between like 750 and 25 dollars and then there are actually quite a few available currently one of which the guy's asking 145 bucks um which I would not have thought so laughable if there weren't so many other ones available for like 20 bucks so that's not gonna work out for me I'll give one of these to my boyfriend. The other one I'm gonna hold on to for a while. I'll go back and see if maybe the value has gone up a little bit once the market isn't, maybe the market was just saturated, but I might have to wait like a year to do that. I don't know, we'll see. Hold on to it for now. I certainly have more than enough things here in my house that have been waiting for a year to get listed, so it's not a big deal. I have some belts here. These were really nifty. Um, I don't know why I'm saying nifty. This is Groucho Marx. This is a smaller belt, probably like a women's size 20, well, whoever, a size 26 inch waist, ideally. I'm a 29 and I can get it on, but it's on like the last hole. This has a little bit of uh, fading and it's a little chewed up here, but I'm probably going to list this on Etsy for around 25 to 30 shipped. It's just awesome, kitschy and cool. The second one is Laurel and Hardy and it's a larger size, it's in better condition. I'm still thinking 25 to $30 range. Of course, I will research them, and if they are being sold for like some insane amount of money, I'm going to raise my ask, but that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with them right now, not having looked up anything about them. I got two of these linen tea towels um, because there is a cat on them and they're adorable. So the edges say can look at a king. There's an old saying that says even a cat can look at a king. Um, look it up if you want to know what it means. I keep trying to explain it and I'm not doing it very well so I'm just not going <laughs> to try to explain it to you. <laughs> the artist on these is Louise Phillips. And um, I can't find anything about her online at all. I can't find these towels online. I found one Pinterest pin of an old eBay listing. The eBay listing is not active anymore, so I don't know what they sold for. I'll look them up on eBay and see what this type of thing goes for, but these are probably going to go on Etsy and are also going to be around 25 or 30 shipped. I've been doing the free shipping on Etsy 
and it seems to be working out for me so far. So um, I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding those types of decisions, but most of my items are lighter weight clothing items or they're items that don't really have an easy price comparison. So I can set a value on them and it's, it's just, it is what it is because it's the only one that there is online. Um, these little guys, so cute. These are candy dot purses and they are, if you're not familiar with them, like my lights are a little funky so I can't tell if you guys can see when I get really close, but it's um, a mesh type of fabric and uh, they've got these plastic dots fused onto the mesh. They're really cute. It's got little cheap ass fringe down here. These all seem to be new old stock. They've got their little tags. Um, they also have tags inside that say they were made in Hong Kong. They're the typical old purse kind of tags. Mm -hmm. These seem to me, oh, they have a little drawstring and this rope thing here is very cheap plastic. It's sturdy, but it feels like crap. Um, and it, these remind me of souvenir items that you would get at like south of the border or something. Um, uh, the U.S. tourist attraction, not just south of the border. So I remember getting like little wallets when I was a kid, like little change purses with the zipper closure on top. My fingers all stained from when I made juice this morning. Okay, so got that one. Love the colors on this. This one's still in its little baggy. It's blue and obviously blue with little white dots. Love this one. And I love this one. The colors really are fun on these. I will probably ask about 25 shipped on these as well. Um, mostly because of the colors. They're smaller sizes. There are more of these available, actually in a lot of larger sizes, but also a lot of different shapes, more structured purses, and they'll make these. Sometimes I've seen some of the pastel ones go for a lot of money, but that's more of a purse, not, this is like a, I don't know, whatever, little drawstring clutchy thing. So I, I don't think that these will go for quite that much, but that's what I'm planning on, about 25 shipped on these. They're just fun, I love them. I don't know if I'm gonna keep one or not, I might. We'll see. Um, oh, and then I got this really cute compact. I haven't really done compacts before. I don't typically look at like jewelry and stuff because my thrift store is one of them, does not really have a lot of that. And then the other one has a lot, but it's always in a case and you have to find a person to get it. And there's just nothing that's ever so awesome that I want to bother going through all that. Um, but this is my compact and it's very art deco there is a figure of a woman on it and i keep kind of going closer because i don't know at what point you guys are actually able to see that um so i don't think this has been used before so it pops open and it has it's still got like its little paper inserts there it has two mirrors oops dropping everything this uh, regular mirror and then behind it is a magnifying mirror. The mirrors do have some discoloration from um, the adhesive on them. The little compact pad, the uh, whatever, American Beauty, and it's all nice and clean and unused. That fits in this little uh, spot. I don't know where my words are today. And then underneath that, there's this small button here on the side and you pull the button to the side and it pops open and that is where the pressed powder would go. And there's like a, a soft fuzzy thing to hold it in there. It's just all brandy new. It's never been used before. It's really nice. So this is going to also be listed at the popular price point of the day. I think like maybe like $30 shipped. There was one other one of this specific compact available on Etsy, um, but it was not in as good condition and it did not have all of the parts. Um, so I might be able to get a little bit more for this, but 
This is just some generic box that it was in, but that's what I plan on listing it for. And then these guys, uh, oh, that's right. I can see. Okay, so these things that I got are uh, of pretty much no value, but they're really cute. <laughs> I didn't look them up before I got them. Um, I just knew that they were adorable and they're tiny and they're easy. So, all right, cutie razor set and razor set. This is not a toy. This is an actual razor that has been scientifically designed for women. Apparently we were not capable of handling. Where did it go? It's not in here. There it is. Apparently we were not capable of handling anything larger than this because we're just women. So they made this little uterus shaped case, which is also super adorable. Cellulose, uh, it's a very art deco design that says cutie down the front. And then the razor itself is cute. It's so little, so tiny, right? Look at how adorable that is. Also how useless, what am I supposed to do with this? So this was apparently meant for shaving armpits because that came into vogue around the 20s, 30s, and this is like a 30s piece. <sighs> Obviously not shaving anybody's legs with this. Maybe your face, although I don't know that they would have admitted to doing that, but you know. Um, and I don't think that they were shaving any other areas, which this might be an appropriate size for. But either way, it's very cute. So it goes in its little, little case there. And ah, I can't get it to sit in its case. Pro there we go. Okay, close that sucker up. It's got little razors in here that I've dumped all over the inside of that bag. But even a little razor, so adorable. All right, tiny scientifically designed minuscule razors. I also have a second one in a plain white box that is blue. So I don't know where I'll list them or for how much. I think that I saw them on Etsy for like seven bucks, probably shipped. So it's not worth anything, but they are fun pieces. All right, I got two of these. These are hair, I thought they were clips, but they are for ponytails. So it's got an elastic band on it. It has this sort of horseshoe with the little teeth in it. And then I guess the band goes across like that. Um, I actually have pretty fine hair, so I don't know that this, this might be too big to hold my hair securely, but we'll see. The elastics are also a little bit worn out, but I think that these are probably 70s. Everything in the house is like 50s, 60s, so these could be earlier. Um, I just got them for myself. There's two of them. I'm a little disappointed that they are elastic and not an actual clip, but what are you going to do? So. I have these very sweet little earrings that I might be sending to a friend of mine, but otherwise they'll be listed on Etsy for around $15. Um, shipped maybe 20. So that's the earring, little rhinestone guys. And these are screw back. And as far as um, non pierced earrings go, I personally prefer screw backs because I feel like you have more control over the amount of pressure that they put on your ear, but they also are still very secure. Clip-ons can be really painful. Um, and a lot of mid-century earrings are non-pierced. So if you like that type of jewelry, even if you have pierced ears, you're kind of, you know, need to deal with what you can get. So adorable. I got a whole bunch of enamel, enamel flower pins. I only got the ones that are sort of the colors that I found to be fun. These should go for also like 25 to 30 shipped. Some of them may be able to go for higher. Uh, I will probably put them all on Etsy and maybe one or two on Posh. Let's see. This blue one. I love these. They're so much fun. Um, this one I like a lot. It has the stem. So cool, there are people who collect these if you don't already know that. I feel like you probably do if you're watching this channel. This one's really neat, but it's got a little bit of scratching from the leaves hitting the petals, but it's so pretty. And then my favorite one, 
because it's pink. I love these. I don't ever wear them, but I love them. <laughs> so those. And then the last piece of jewelry, and I think that the last thing, oh no, it's not the last thing I have to show you. The last piece of jewelry that I got is a pair of earrings that are also for myself. Um, they're so much fun. So they are little dangly guys. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> so adorable. It's just this little, very colorful, oh, I love it so much. And these are clip-ons. Um, <clears throat> see, look how fun they are. So those are just for me. This one has some scratching on the little roundy guy, so I might have to try and find some paint and paint them. It's obviously not going to be the same exact color, but I don't care. So cute. I love them. All right. So the last thing from the estate sale are some pinup girl gloves. I got two pairs. I like selling these and I try to stick with uh, gloves that are a longer length and or that have some sort of special detail that they're lace or they have cut out detail or ruffle. Um, I have these up here that I got somewhere else. They're short, but they're pale pink, they're sheer and they have this lace ruffle. So stuff like that, not plain black or white. Um, I will get like the kid leather ones when they're really soft, especially if they're longer. Um, the other thing is that a lot of these gloves are smaller sizes. So these are probably like a six. I can get it on, but it's not, it doesn't really fit me, but they're fun. They've got these cutout detail here. They're longer, which is nice. They're a good color. I do have to try and get some discolorations off of these. I'll try and use um, baby wipes, which are magic if you don't already know about those. So Baby wipes get so much stuff off of so many things. <laughs> I've sent stuff to the dry cleaner before, came back with the stains not removed, and I've been able to get it out with baby wipes. So um, anyway, these, I will probably list these around 30 shipped because of the fact that they're a smaller size. If they were larger, I'd probably be trying for more like 40 or 45, but I think we're going to have to stick with the 30 because of the size, especially if I can't get the discolorations out. The discolorations aren't too bad, but they're there. These are great. They're black. However, they are longer, they are lace, and they stretch, which is amazing because of the fact of uh, the size. So let's see if you can see that um, pattern. Really cool. I'll probably sell these for like 40, 50 shipped. Um, I like doing the gloves because they're easy to photograph, they're easy to list and ship, and they sell for nice amounts of money. So um, none of the gloves that I got yesterday have sizes listed in them. I'll list measurements, um, but measuring for gloves, a lot of them will have the sizes listed six and a half, five, seven, eight. I think that the largest I've seen online at least is like a nine. And the smallest I've seen is around a five or five and a half. Um, if you measure around the knuckle part of your hand, so my hand is seven inches around, I'm a size seven glove. I usually will explain that in a listing and I also put in a lot of other measurements. Um, I measure from the bottom of the palm to the top of the middle finger. I measure across the glove, I think here and here. And I list all of that stuff. Most people buying these types of things already know their measurements or know what to look for with that. They know what size they are because they're buying these types of items regularly, but um, I would never have known what size my, what my glove size was before I was doing this. A lot of people don't even have tape measures, so it's hard. I try to give them a good idea um, and just mention if something's particularly small or large or whatever. Um, that's everything I got at the estate sale. I paid $80 for all of that. And the two Beatles books were $30 of that 80. So the rest of it I got for 50 bucks total. So it's not too bad. I will definitely make my money back on that easily. Um, the other stuff is going to be primarily from a thrift store where I got everything at 50% off, but I do have a couple of pieces that I got elsewhere. I picked up a whole bunch of baby clothes. I don't do baby clothes because I don't do babies really. I don't 
Um, I'm not drawn to the stuff too much and I don't understand the sizes. If things have a tag, I mean, that's helpful, but it usually just says something like 2T, 3T. And when I try to look up size charts, it tells me that that's for either the age of the kid, like a 2T is for a two year old, or it's for a kid that weighs this much or is this tall. And none of that is useful for me when I have an item of clothing with no tags on it. So um, I find it very frustrating. And I usually do find somewhere where I can get some actual measurements, but it's, it's challenging for me. And I look at this stuff and I was like, there's no way an actual person could ever fit in these. So it's sort of, I don't have a good sense of that anyway. But these were all really cute. They're also easy to photograph because they don't require much setup or mannequin. They're easy to list. Um, so I got a whole bunch of stuff. This is like a little smock or a pinafore cotton. It does have a tag, so it's probably 70s, made in USA, and it has washing instructions. So I just liked the print a lot. I thought it was a really cute little um, shape, whatever, with the ruffles. And it's got a kitty on it. So cute. So I've got that. I plan on putting the majority of these on Etsy. And I'll try and look up and see, but I'm anticipating them all going for generally the 20 to 25 dollars shipped range. I do have some dresses that I'll stick up on eBay, but I'll get to those in a minute. This is such a cute sweater. I want this sweater to be my size. Um, Lord and I had a little bit of a debate about whether this was a cat or a dog. He thinks it's a dog because the ears are too big for a cat, which is true. I kind of felt like it was a cat, probably because of the eyes and the whiskers, but those are very large ears. So I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. It's cute. In addition to that, my other favorite part of this sweater is that there's a zipper up the entire back, including the hood. So if you have some non-cooperative infant, you just lay it down, pop this over, and then flip it over like a burrito and zip it all up. So cute. I just love this sweater. This will go on Etsy. I've considered putting some stuff on Poshmark, um, but wherever I put them, I, I already have a couple of sweaters on Etsy for kids. Because I don't do a lot of kids clothing, I want the majority of it to be in the same place so that people who want to buy one thing maybe have you know options to buy multiples if they want. You know how it is when you're looking through somebody's shop, you don't want to see like one dress and then everything else is plates, right? You want to kind of be able to look at, if you like dresses, you want to see a lot of dresses. So I will try to put all of my kids stuff generally in the same spot. This is one of the dresses that I will put on eBay. Um, this is a Polly Flinders, which is the manufacturer. I got this at a rummage sale. It does have some light discoloration on it that I am going to have, I soaked it once. I'm going to have to soak it again. When I bought it, it was very dark in the at the place where I got it, so I couldn't really see that. But it's got the smocking, it's pink with this little rainbow thing. I looked this up and on eBay, this should get about 20 or 25 bucks plus shipping. Um, some of them were lower, like 15. Some of them were a lot higher, but they were more intricate than this. So I was a little bit disappointed. Um, I look at baby girl, I look at baby clothes for the baby dresses. I'm trying to find things that are sheer, have some flocking, have this smocking stuff, have a lot of lace and layers and fluff and princessy type of dresses, but from the 50s and 60s, those go for a lot of money. I don't usually find those. This one I thought was kind of close, less money than I was hoping for, but I mean, it's still a respectable, I, mean, I think I paid $4 for this when I bought it. Might have paid more, I don't remember. It was a rummage sale, but it was a little bit on the pricey side. Um, I got this there as well. This definitely was $4. Infant dress, and this is a sheer fabric, but it also has discolorations that I'm gonna have to try and soak out. I tried and soaked it once and it didn't quite come out. But it's so pretty and just cute and delicate, whatever. So I will have to work on that a little bit more. And I don't know how much I'll sell this for. Um, off the top of my head, I would guess 20, 25 uh, plus shipping if I put it on eBay. But 
I'm kind of, of course, always hoping that it's going to go for more. We'll see. This is a little onesie kind of thing. Very cute. Can't use the term onesie because it'll get me pulled off. So it's a little one piece. But um, the legs have buttons and I found A, that not all of the buttons are there. And B, there don't seem to be button holes for the buttons. So <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Um, it's a nice little dilemma there. I mean, I could poke button holes through, I suppose, because it's knit, but I paid 250 for this. So it's not a huge loss. I will list it regardless. I'll, I'll, I will most likely list it as is, um, but I don't know. If I list it as is, it'll be cheap, like maybe 10 or 15, you know, 10 plus shipping, 15 shipped, depending on where I put it. Um, because I did not pay enough attention to that when I got it, because who thought that I would need to look and see if it had buttonholes. All right. This is handmade, I think, but really cute. And I paid $4 for this. It's a set and it's little bloomer pants things. This is peanuts. Charlie Brown and Snoopy Christmas theme. So cute. Um, and it does not have any tags. It does seem to be homemade. And then a little dress. <laughs> cute it is. So obviously the timing is great for the holiday. It's in great condition. And uh, people love peanuts. So I will... I don't know enough about kids clothes. I'm going to put this on eBay and I will probably try and do it hmm, 30 or 35 or best offer. Anything I do on eBay, I do best offer on and I charge shipping. On Etsy, I do shipping included and you know, Etsy it is what it is. So, um this very cute with the little rainbow plaid type of design adorable little dress and let's see this little guy Boop. how cute is that there are no tags on this i paid a dollar 75 and we'll list this 20 or 25 shipped probably on etsy i might try it on ebay this is one of those things that i don't know there's certain fabric types and patterns and colors that will go for a lot more money and i you know the rainbow the pastel do well. I don't know if this is going to fall in that kind of category. If it is, I'll put it on eBay. Um, I might put the dresses more on eBay and keep the sweaters on Etsy. I don't know. We'll see. All right. This, I just, it doesn't mit match any of the themes, but it was just cute. Um, I'm going to get 60s on this and I paid $1.25. I mean, you can't really go too wrong there. 100% acrylic. That's the tag almost as much fun as the piece itself. And I get, I was thinking it's a shirt, but it's got that little A-line cut. I don't know if that could be considered a dress. Either way, it's cute. It was in the boys clothing section, but looking at the shape of it, it might not be boys. Doesn't matter. Does it size large? So I guess that's, I don't know, whatever. It's cute. Don't know how much I'm gonna list that for. Probably put it on Etsy. This is gonna go on eBay. And I'm hoping will be nice money. I paid $2.50 for this. Pink, floofy. It's not sheer. It doesn't have a whole lot of layers to it, but it does have this nice lace and it's just super girly, princessy looking, and those are sought after. So I should be able to get at least $25 plus shipping for this. I paid $2.50. Um, but if I get a little bit less than that, that's okay. This is after the 70s, it's got fiber content, washing instructions, country of origin. Um, baby clothes are weird that way. I suppose it could be 80s. You know, this is the other tag, if you can see it. Really cute, though. And it still has this. It might be new old stock. It doesn't have tags, but, you know, it's got the little plastic thing, and it looks like it's never been used. So there's that. This is another one probably going to eBay. Very cute. I'm hoping it does well. Pink, gingham, ruffles, flowers, little Peter Pan collars, just very little girly. Um, also a little bit of a later piece. Has an RN number. 
and let's see. You can't tell. I paid a uh, two hundred and fifty for this one. Yeah, has all the country of origins, care instructions, etc. So boring tag, but it's a really cute little dress. So minimum twenty twenty five plus shipping. Uh, this is really cute. This will go on Etsy. I paid two dollars for this. Look at how cute that is. Little balloons. It's very tiny. And the same price, you know, 25 shipped, 20 shipped, something like that. Um, this I've seen in my store for a while and just haven't gotten it. This is a vintage Esprit. You know, probably like 90s, but it's for kids. I like the um, flowers on it. It was $1.75. It's nice and soft. So I'll stick this probably on Etsy, although maybe on eBay because it's um, a spree mini. Oh, man, in that. So back is plain. It's very adorable. How many times can I say how cute is that about one particular item? This is another probably eBay pink striped seersucker. Seersucker is another one of those fabrics that a certain population of people love for these little girl dresses. That little flower is a pocket. Ah, so cute. Little flower buttons. It has a tag of oh, health techs, which I feel like I remember this brand tag from when I was a kid. Uh, $1.75 I paid for this. So 20 plus shipping on eBay, 25 plus shipping. It's a little out of season, but I list stuff whenever, um, not out of any kind of strategy, except for the strategy of, I just need to list things when I can list them because I'm so, it's so much, so hard for me sometimes to get myself to list things at all. And if I start trying to organize by season or whatever, I'll never make it. This I also liked. It's pastel, it's fleece. It has a metal zipper. I'm a sucker for the metal zippers because those are usually older. It goes down the leg, which I thought was really cute. It's footy pajama type thing. Feels like there's something in there. There may be a sock in there. It's got those little mitteny guys that cover up your hands, your hands, the hands, the hood. And it does have a tag, Quiltex. 70s, 80s, most likely. I want to see what's in the toe. I thought this was really cute. Really, I got it because it's pastel and had footies. Got a little boring sock in the bottom that I'm going to throw away because who cares about this sock? It's not even exciting. So, here we go. Let's see. That's it. No more treasures in the toes. Cute. This will go on, I don't know, eBay or Etsy, 25-ish. That is all of my kids' clothes. I got um, this bandana. This was 50 cents at my thrift store. Bandanas they tend to do for like $1.50, $2. This one they only had listed at 99 cents. It was 50% off day, so I got it for 50 cents. This is, let's see, so fast color, 100% cotton, um, not made in China. Those are usually hallmarks of older pieces. The RN number on that means it was after 1959. Um, I've seen that RN number before. I've had a few pieces listed, so, you know, I know it's one. I, I probably will get between 15 and 25 for this. On Etsy, that will include the shipping price. If I put it on eBay, it would be plus shipping. Um, also it would be or best offer on eBay. I like the design of this. Um, when you start looking at bandanas a lot, you'll see that the patterns are different and this is just a little bit more unusual, which is one of the reasons I liked it. It's really soft, which is another reason. Um, the selvage edge. So, you know, this isn't anything super phenomenal, but, uh, it's in great shape. It was 50 cents. And I just like bandanas. I like selling them. I don't know why. So that this is just fabric, but it's so pretty. Um, I paid two dollars for this, I think. And here are the tag, a dollar fifty. This is maybe a dress fabric. So 
it's a weave it is not a knit it reminds me of like those 70s disco shirts knits and the way that it feels but it's not stretchy um so i assume it was made for maybe dresses it's fairly thin but it's so cute i'm going to list it probably on etsy and i don't have any idea how much i'm gonna have to measure it and see um but i loved it i just thought it was cute and it was inexpensive and i don't do fabric too often but i do look at them because there's a fabric group that i'm part of on facebook and there's specific kinds of fabrics that they really like so i do try to look out for those and i also they tend to like like shears basically anything they make those little girl dresses out of they like that type of stuff um i also keep an eye out for like bark cloth and things like that um like i said i don't get them too often but all right let's see next i've got some blankets so this is just a billabong uh, which is a modern sort of surf type of brand. Um, I paid $1.75 for it, so it was cheap. This is going to go on Poshmark, I think. I'm looking for the tag for you. It's new old stock. Not new old stock. It's new with tags. Oops. Billabong. And it's just like a beach throw type of thing or a, you know, a thin cotton feeling type of tapestry with the fringe is really cool. It's just a really bohemian. They've been pretty popular with these round beach type towels recently. So this will probably go on Poshmark for, I will list it probably around 25 or $30. Um, you get a lot of offers on Posh. So I'll see what I come up with for this, but um, I'll have to research it first, but it's gonna go up for about that. I just thought it was a good piece and it was cheap and had tags on it still, so it's fun also out of season, but I don't care. All right, this blanket I think is super fun. And I'm gonna put this on Depop. I don't know if it's vintage, could have been made yesterday for all I know. It's an Afghan, but it's in neon colors, which I thought was amazing. I have not ever seen that before. So I love it. Um, so I'm going to list this on Depop and I'm probably gonna try and do like 30 or 40 bucks shipped. Maybe I'll do like 45 since it includes the shipping. I do free shipping in the U.S. on Depop as well. Um, I just thought it was fun. It's a great shape. It's fun colors. So, and it's soft, which is nice as well. It seemed like it would go with the Depop demographic. I'm not totally on board with what the demographic for Depop is because they're all like 20 years old and I'm not at all but I'm trying to get a feel for it. And other vintage clothing does do well on Depop. So I haven't put a whole lot of housewares on there, but that's what we're gonna do with that. Let's see. This blanket, I also really like. This is, uh, feels like wool and it's reversible. So it's got, you know, reverse colors on the opposite sides. I love these. I get these frequently they're usually like 1930s, 1940s camp blankets. And I think that they're wool. I usually don't find them with any kind of tags on them. And they feel like wool and they will sometimes have like moth holes in them. So it leads me to believe that they're wool, but I'm able to wash them, which makes me wonder if they're not. But I wash them in cold water on delicate. And then I put them in the dryer on low heat, delicate setting. Um, and I check it frequently. I don't have a washer and dryer, so I go to a commercial laundromat. So we're not even talking like a gentle washer and dryer. And they do really well. They don't um, felt up, they don't shrink. So they are easy to care for primarily. This one is a little bit thinner, which is nice because it's not as bulky to try to wash or store. And I liked it, it was 350. And I just like these kind of blankets a lot. This one was a more unique design and it looks a little more modern to me um, as far as the, the actual design is concerned. So uh, the construction seems pretty in line with some of the older pieces, but I don't know. So I'm going to list this probably on Etsy, maybe eBay, but probably Etsy. And somewhere in the 40 to $50 range I'm gonna go for. Um, I like it a lot. I would keep it, but I wash my own 
linens too frequently and I send them out, I have a guy come pick up my laundry because I just will take decades to do it myself. But there are certain things that I won't send out um, and this would be one of them. So my last item and blanket is awesome. I've sold several of these pieces before all on Etsy, although they do list them on eBay for nice money as well. Um, the first time I found one of these, I had no idea what it was. I just thought it was like so fantastically tacky that I had to get it. This is, the, it's a big, heavy blanket with this like velvety kind of texture to it. These are referred to as chenille blankets. They are not what I typically consider chenille, which is like that very cottony type of looped fabric. These are more like a, a velvet and it's got sections of the fabric that are just fabric and then the, the cut velvet here. Um, these are called Italian wedding blankets. So these were popular for soldiers to bring back in the during World War II for their, I guess, fiancés or new brides. Um, and let's see, they often have cherubs or other you know little scenic vignettes on them this one has cherubs and flowers so hopefully you can see it oh i think that's like a oh look at that that's not even just a cherub i obviously have not looked at this too much let's see what we got here all right so there's this lady here and then the little weird cherub cr critter there's another cherub over here um even when you lay these out flat on the bed, it's sometimes hard to see really what the pattern is because of the fact that it's so sort of shiny and the way the light catches it and whatever. Hold this up for you. Oop. I don't even know what direction this is supposed to go in right now. So anyway, um, but these do really well. I have sold two or three on Etsy and mine have gone, I think I've done between 125 and 175. Um, the ones that I've done for lower were because I think it was like musty smelling and I was afraid to wash it. The first one I ever got, I did put in the washer because I literally had no idea what it was. So I didn't have any fear about caring for it properly. Um, I didn't even realize that it was actual, you know, that it was that old. I thought it was just some weird, I live in a, a population of a lot of Indian people. So I thought that it could be something a little bit more current Indian type of style. I just thought it was cool. Um, and when I washed it, it didn't seem to really damage it. This one is very soft and seems like it, I mean, it's dirty, but it also seems like it's probably been washed in the past. So I've had some newer ones that seemed very new and just smooth. I think when you wash these, the velvet kind of isn't as I don't know crisp or like flat and the sheen uh, you know so I get a little nervous about it but I don't see any way to care for them I have a couple right now that are actually really musty smelling so they're going to need to be soaked and washed and I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up and do it this one I'm gonna have no problem washing just because of how soft it is and everything but um it's not the most amazing condition I mean it's not terrible it's in really nice condition. So I will probably list this on Etsy for around 150, 175. There is a website devoted to selling these. It's like some weird small website, but the woman on that website lists them for like 600, 800 bucks, like crazy amounts of money. So they can go for quite a lot. Um, I The ones that I've sold on Etsy have all gone to one woman. So I will probably reach out to her first and see if she wants to purchase it directly and uh, I will offer it to her for a little bit lower, maybe like 100, 125. If she doesn't want it, then I'll just list it outright. But um, she's bought two or three from me and she's in Australia. So she's got the whole shipping charge to contend with and everything. But I love finding these. I paid 750 for this. It was tagged at 15 um, and 50% off day. So I paid 750 and I've bought other ones for around 15 bucks before because I know what I can sell them for. So um, they're great on eBay or Etsy. That is my haul. So I am really appreciative that you guys stuck with me through that, that you watch any of these at all. 
Um, I feel like I haven't been super entertaining on this one today. I don't know why, but I do want to try and do these more often, which I always say. This one is the first time I'm going to try to be uploading a video rather than just having recorded it live. And maybe I'll try and edit pieces of it. I have not done that before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's it. I appreciate you guys watching and 